Here we got a stack of some Clara walnut here on the top. There's 14 pieces. That's 632 bucks there. Let's see, there you go. And here's some sizes on the ends. Okay. Here's our tag for that. This is a small slab of, of them all. That one on the very top was. So you got 18, 20, 17, 17, 16, 12, 19. You got 15 right there wide. 86, I'm sorry, 68 long. Four slabs of sycamore. They're kind of longer. Not kind of. There you go. They really are. Three inches thick. There's your general shapes of these. They've got some good shape to them. They're not straight. 14 inches wide, roughly. 142 inches long, three inches thick. Four of those slabs, $420. There you go. That's my inventory list on that one. Okay, next stack. Up next is our unit of mixed lumber. We've got oak in there. We've got Clara Walnut. We've got maple. We've got curly redwood. Some good oak right here. I believe it's quarter sawn. Look at that curly redwood here. Wow, you can see it down there. Um, really nice maple there. 20 inches wide, 80 inches long. All the way down. I don't know. There's maybe five or six. Big old chunk of Clara under there. Some Clara shorts and uh, 44 inches long, 19 inches wide. I think there's four of them across there underneath this first stack of oak. So there's that part. We're gonna go to this neck, but I'm gonna stack it up there first. No, we're not, we're gonna keep going. Three inch by 30 inch by 56 inch curly redwood old growth roots. A couple of those, roughly that size. These have been just lightly sanded to just kind of show off some of the grain. Next one, you can see the grain there, and that's just killer looking. Cool little shape, three inches, uh, roughly 14 or so there, five foot across this direction there. Same thing with that guy, kind of, uh, oh, that's got some issues, but yeah. Priced accordingly, though. So this would probably be a good time to pause it. We've got a bunch of numbers written on the edge there. Okay. So we got sequoia, this is the old growth I already did, some mixed redwood there, and there's the dimensional lumber. So this top part of uh, some of the sequoia, let's do it this way. There you go, it's $480 for all of this stuff on the top. Here we've got that, I'm not even gonna read it. Thousand bucks there. Wait a second. Ooh, yes, that's right. Okay, there we go for the bottom stack, 400. Okay, next up we have eight slabs of some really awesome old growth redwood burl. Now it's not lace redwood, it's just a highly figured redwood burl. They're roughly 3.25 inches thick by 70 by 84. Here's our tag on those. These are a little higher than most stuff, but we paid a lot for this burl to start with, so can't discount it too much, but you're still only paying five bucks a board foot for this whole stack. And they're all about that same size. Really cool stuff. Natural edge all the way around, except this one spot right here. Not much, it's only about three foot of it. And it's only on a couple of them, it's not on every single slab, so. Uh, at this point, you'll see some photos drop in of each piece. Up next, we have a unit of quarter sawn myrtle or bay laurel. 
We got 348 board feet, three bucks a board foot, $1,044. And that's on the low end. I have uh, quite a few more in there that I didn't really calculate. Um, this stuff was uh, probably just gonna be free. Not sure if that little unit here, if these uh, four by eight headers are going. Down here we got a mixed unit of, right there, I'm not gonna read it all, 950 for everything. Old growth, some redwood in there, curly redwood. Um, iron bark eucalyptus right here and here. Um, bah, 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 bah. What is that? Pine. Next, these are some of my big long pieces for bar tops. We got poplar burl on the top right here. That is Deodor cedar. And then six pieces of uh, nice redwood slabs. And then some beams. Not too excited to sell the beams. Got an idea for that for my project um, that I'm going to be building. So here's roughly what's in there and good time to pause for you. Okay, beams down here. That's what you're looking at for the beams. Dimensions right there. Here's the other side of these. Some of the natural edge has been cut off to fit into our mill. These were cut 215. So these are all definitely dry, ready to go. Next, we've got some Claro Walnut. There you go for that one. That's not going. That's some guitar stuff for me. Uh, 500 for all those. And we've got some Cypress. We've got six, well, three here in this room on the other side. So six there. We've got one, two, three nice um, big curly redwood slabs. And then just some regular, very straight grain redwood. Let's go down here, uh, 382, and you know what, I would probably just throw those in for free on this whole stack if you took the whole stack. Uh, these three redwood slabs, 800 for those, there's your measurements. And then this on the bottom, you know, if you took the whole stack too, I'd discount that down to about a thousand bucks, so. We go to the other side. So there's the Claro. English Walnut, Cypress, you got six of those guys. There's some nice ones in there, wider than I thought they were. I, I wrote down 17 inches, but this right here is, that's easy, 26 inch right there. Same thing right there, that one's 26, that's probably 24. So those are even, you get those for free. And you got your three redwoods right here, and then eight book match sets of uh, nice street green redwood. That was, uh, I think it was 28 on one side and 32. Somewhere like 34 even on the other side. Here we have some Clara Walnut. About 30 to 40 pieces in there. 1.8 by 12 by 32, 50, 500 bucks for that whole thing. We got some pretty cool pop, uh, pepper pearl. There you go. Good for river tables right there. Down here is just a mixed variety of Camphor, sycamore, claro walnut, curly redwood, some oak, um, some redwood burl in there. So that whole unit, not going to document everything exact, but that's roughly. I don't have a count on each piece in there, but it's a lot of stuff. 1200 bucks. All of that from like right here, down there, that's 1200 A lot of good stuff in there. Here we have some blue oak. Got four slabs of blue oak. Couple of miscellaneous redwood slabs that I don't have tagged in here. Probably just give those free with the whole lot. Two of these are sold here. This is uh, incense cedar. These are really nice one piece tabletops. So I've got two of those left. So uh, 1320 for two of these and then those four there. And then we got mixed lumber on the bottom there. That's probably just gonna go for free with the amount. There's some finished pieces in there too. Look at that. There's a bow tie in that one. Those probably go with the two. Sequoia Redwood right there. 300 bucks. Over here we just got a mixed unit of some slabs. I'm not gonna go through and count them all. There's some cool stuff in that slab. There's even a carving in there I see. 200 for the whole thing. Here's a unit of kiln dry, redwood, sycamore, and poplar burl. I have a good video of all of these documented that I'm gonna probably tie in at some point right here. And here's a rough, not rough, this is what it is. There you go. 
Some more Clara walnut. Put that side of Claro. You see one's been planed out, the other is not surfaced. Look that set, one has been planed out, the other has not. I'm gonna have to look up what this species is, because I don't know. It almost looks like Madrone. But nice book match set there. Here we have two ash slabs that are a book match set. One has been planed out, and one is still rough on. Yeah, this stuff planes out so sweet. Some more ash. These are more of the quarter sawn pieces. Right in the center of the log. Make a great book match set here. These are both match. Now we have some beautiful camper. These are both a set. Obviously one's been planed, one hasn't. A little bit of water sprayed on it. This stuff smells just amazing. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Another book match set of camper slabs. These have not been planed. They're just roughs on. We've got a camper slab and an ash. These don't have a book match set, just some randoms. Book match camper. A lot going on here. Two more camper slugs. These are rough sun. You can see right here, that figure is going to be super wild. Same as down here. We have a lot going on there. Beautiful looking and smelling. Some highly figured Bastone wallet. Really nice sizes. Most of it's plain. Oh, this lighting is horrible. What's Bastone? Bastone is just a type of wallet. Another Bastone, super loaded piece. Just some of my favorite material in the world. Sorry, the numbers are upside down, but it doesn't matter. I'm not sorry. More just out of control, insane figure Bastone moment. Couldn't plan this one out all the way, so planter blades went dull. But there's beautiful stuff. Just kind of see some of it. More just out of control, insane figure. That's no moment. Here we have uh, some pecan on the top. Three inch by eighteen inch by to twenty four inch by sixty six. Two hundred bucks for all those. We've got a couple of Myrtle slabs right here. Really nice figured stuff. Great coloring in those. Some Sycamore Burl. And here is your tag on all that. Okay, next, Cottonwood. There's that. Super cheap. This is all some kiln dry stuff here. There's uh, This is uh, three gram. This is some really nice stuff. There's four slabs of Bastone in there that are really, really nice. I mean, each piece probably alone is, I'd say, retail value of maybe 1500 bucks a pop. So just those would cover it. Uh, you got some camphor, sycamore, and claro down in there too. This is all kiln dry right here. Next, we got a stack of a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. We've got pin oak on the top, and then some sycamore, I'm sorry, uh, sequoia redwood, um, 
dimensional lumber, 300 bucks for the top two pieces there. And this is some really nice exotic woods in this one. Um, big old list of everything that's in there. Some of the Paduke, I just cut some of the Paduke. Look at it. That's Paduke. There's quite a few boards of Paduke in there. And uh, yeah, so there's that there. Same thing here on the bottom. We've got a bunch of mixed dimensional and slabs. Bird's eye redwood, curly redwood, Paduke, mahogany, and some Claro. Like, uh, there's some mahogany. This is mahogany right here. Boom, 14, maybe 16 inches. Uh, I don't even know what that one is. Let's see. Let's scrape it off a little bit. Wow, mahogany. Look at that stuff. What is this? Wow, I don't even know what that is. Huh, interesting. Well, okay, there you go on those. Back here, we got some Madrone. They've twisted a little bit, but there are still some good ones. Make some great dimensional lumber if you want to mill it up. 200 bucks, three inch by 32 by 52 inch log. To show some of the quality in these, but they're all nice and palletized still. So there's two stacks here. Uh, this is uh, figure turning blocks, 400 bucks. Like that is uh, red gum eucalyptus. There's claro in there. There's poplar burl. There's maple burl. Uh, all kinds of really nice stuff in that one. Same with this one in here. Mixed turning wood, old growth redwood, maple pieces, and then. Oh, ow! Yeah, there's a good stuff in there though. So, 400 bucks pop for each of those. To the right of that, we've got some Claro walnut slabs. Look like they could be billets for some guitars, possibly. I see some rosewood in there. There's some rosewood there too. Um, 500 bucks for the whole thing. I bet you there's 500 board feet there, so there's a lot of good stuff. Uh, down here, there's some thin veneer stuff, uh, Claro walnut, some big giant blocks. Look at this, that's my hand on that. That's four inch by six inch, and this is rosewood. Dark, dark stuff. So you're looking at probably about maybe a thousand bucks for this one. That's got a lot of rosewood in it. So there we go. Here we have another unit of some mixed turning woods. These are some really nice pieces here. Lots of good burl, curly stuff. 600 for that. Down here, got some Claro Walnut. I think there are 14 to 20 pieces in this piece, in the stack here. We got 800 bucks. Some, uh, Claro Walnut Round, some of that's English on the top also. I didn't write that in this, but. There you go. 800 bucks for that whole piece, or whole, the whole stack of, what do I have? 26 pieces in there. Down here we have uh, mixed dimensional stuff. Maple, rosewood, and curly redwood, 600 bucks there. Uh, another mixed unit of really nice Hardwoods, Claro, Rosewood, and Maple, 500 bucks for that. Got some really wide Valley Oaks. We got five pieces. This is the first two. Thousand bucks for the two, three inch thick. These are 65 inch wide, 10 foot long. Nice one piece tops. There's the general shape of it right there drawn. Here's three more. These kind of have a bow to them. Thousand bucks for those. Elm. Got seven pieces. There's a shape. Thousand bucks for those. Come over here. Some really good stock. This is Claro Walnut. Uh, a lot of these have the burls attached to them. There's that. Thousand bucks for that one. There's the shape and dimensions of that guy. Um, I tagged this whole unit by itself in one on one tag So this might be a good spot to pause and check that out so There's three different logs in this one stack here 
we got one log there, second log there, third log there, then there's three miscellaneous redwood slabs that are not even charged in this unit. Over here we have some oak. This is a blue oak. There's a shape, 350 bucks for seven pieces. Okay. We have uh, valley oak slabs, three of them. 56 inch wide, 109 inch long, 1500 bucks for those. Here we have some myrtle pieces, myrtle, 400 bucks, there's the sizes. I'll just give you a little shot of the side of those things. Kind of hard to tell sizes by this video, but just give you a rough idea. Uh, stack of uh, old growth uh, curly and burly redwood, thousand bucks for those. I mean, these are some of these are big pieces up to like 48 inch wide, uh, four foot to seven foot long. Oh, uh, some of them probably even eight foot long. So there's that stack. We've got a lot here of uh, 26 pieces of Claro walnut. They've got the graph line in them right there. You can see that. So I got 26 pieces, 2,600 bucks, only 100 bucks a slab. Some of these are eight foot long, 24 inch wide. Like these are all 24 inch wide, roughly eight foot long. Here we got some that are probably 30. Wow, right here, that's easily 36. That looks like English walnut or also Paradox. And uh, those are probably five to six foot long. So 2,600 bucks for those. This is some miscellaneous stuff. Probably won't even get rid of that. Just keep that for myself. But uh, we've got some one inch thick Claro walnut, roughly 20, I would say minimum of 12 inch up to 20 inch by eight foot long. That whole stack, 500 bucks. And there you go. I think that's it.